Hello, it is Sunday, August 6th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Sunday crossword today, which means a big themed grid, the jumbo-sized crossword that we are going to solve. And it should be roughly midweek difficulty. I don't know. These could be anywhere from a Wednesday to a Thursday, generally, I think, in terms of difficulty. Um, but we'll find out. And I hope we don't find out in too, I don't know, extended a time frame, because I do have... Uh, I have to keep to a schedule today. So hopefully we'll get through this puzzle in a reasonable amount of time. And this uh, hopefully on schedule edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Emma Smith, Noah Bazanson, Madeline Lee, and as always, the indomitable Showmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign for their generous support. They are sustaining this channel, keeping this series going for that. I am incredibly grateful. Thank you to them. And thank you to everybody who's backed the Patreon campaign at any level. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in the way that those f- uh, folks have, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve. Click the link in the description field. And that will take you to the Patreon page where you can see as a patron all of the bonus videos that have gone up for patrons, such as this week's uh, mini puzzle pseudo speed solve, as well as today the New York Times cryptic crossword puzzle that was uh, uh, published today in, I think in the, it was a variety puzzle, so probably in the New York Times magazine. And um, that is no longer available on the New York Times website, but I realized that if you... um, make an account on xwordinfo.com. You can solve the New York Times variety puzzles there still. I didn't realize that. So um, I solved the New York Times cryptic, today's cryptic crossword from the New York Times. And so if you're interested in that, um, check out the uh, patron page. And uh, thank you to everybody again, who is a patron of any sort. I really do appreciate it. And uh, thanks also to those who have subscribed to the YouTube channel. That is a big help. Please consider doing so if you enjoy these videos. And finally, there's the Daily Solve Discord chat server. Uh, You can check that out. It's a friendly chat community, and there's a link in the description field to that as well. All right, let's get on to today's crossword. It's entitled, What's Hanging? It's a Sunday puzzle, so unlike every other day of the week, it is titled. And what's hanging? Maybe, I don't know, something about vertical clues. Maybe they have endings that are extra or missing or something. I don't know. In any case, this puzzle is constructed by Lisa Senzel and Jeff Chen. Only the second puzzle for Lisa Senzel, but nearly the 150th for Jeff Chen, one of the most um, one of the most prolific constructors in New York Times history. And also actually the current proprietor of xwordinfo.com, where I solved that, that cryptic crossword that uh, is available to patrons today. And in any case, uh, so yes, very experienced constructor. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's let's start solving and see what's hanging. Bookish intellectuals. Hmm, some kind of, I don't know, I was going to say something nerds, but then there would only be three lit nerds, maybe, actually? I don't know. Feature of Peter Pan and Black Beauty. Oh, and this is italicized. Right. Not sure. So that uh, the reason I say that is because that suggests it's um, a theme answer, theme clue, theme answer. And also it is in a down. So the hanging bit was sort of did sound like it maybe there would be in the, they'd be in the down clues today, which is unlikely, for, uh, sorry, it's unusual for themes or less common anyway. Military roadside hazard. A unexploded... Ordinance UXO, I think that is, maybe. I don't know if that's if that's what we're looking for here, but I think it's I think it's a reasonable guess. Let's handle basic basic math subject. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Skosh, just a little bit, a tad, maybe a bit, a tad. Basic math subject addition. There we go. Okay, so what is the feature of Peter Pan and Black Beauty? Oh, sorry. Then this isn't a UXO. It's an uh, improvised explosive device, IED. Okay. I think that's what that is. Um, UXO is also, uh, I think, a relevant abbreviation, but not here. Bookish intellect. Oh, maybe it is lit nerds or lit geeks or something. So feature of Peter Pan and Black Beauty. What's hanging? I don't know. 
I mean, I know I read both of these as a child and Peter Pan, I've, you know, seen at least one of the, you know, I've certainly seen at least the Disney film, but I can't, I don't know. Paperless Post product, an e evite maybe? Paperless Post, I think, is a one of those sites where you can send people electronic greeting cards. So maybe you'd sell them an e-invitation, an e-vite, which, not crazy about the e-words, but I think this one is somewhat used at least. Moving backwards. Oh, this... So what is this? Lit oh, the Literati, Bookish Intellectuals. There we go. That's what that is. For some reason, I had that in mind when I first read the clue, and I thought, oh, this, there's not enough room to fit it in the puzzle. Obviously, there is. I don't know what I was thinking. So I didn't even say it. Section of an atlas could be... Hmm. Not sure. Sporty car roof. T-top. That's a... Uh, it's not a, not a full convertible. The whole roof doesn't, doesn't retract, but you have these sort of sections that are removed T-tops. Oh, and here's a dash. Person on the high seas. Dash. Interesting. So it looks looks like we have this thing where we have a theme clue, and then I don't really know how to describe this, but almost sort of describing a rectangle, we have this dash clue. And it looks like these are related to me because these are also, no, where were they? Sorry. Here and here. These are related in the sense that it sort of looks like we're, as I say, we're sort of describing a rectangle that would travel from 33 to 34 and then down from each, sort of hanging down from each as the, as maybe in the parlance of the, the title. So what is this feature of Peter Pan and Black Beauty? This looks like it should be I-O-N, which is certainly a suffix, a common English language suffix. So, you know, hangs from words. Oh, yeah, it is. So leaves to is if you let someone handle something, you leave it to them. Feature of Peter Pan and Black Beauty. Does this have the same language feature of? No, I keep looking at the wrong one. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Person on the high seas. A sing, some sort of singer. This is so interesting, this LLA. Not sure what to do with that. Sting operation, basically. A trap, so you could uh, sting, you know, law enforcement could uh, carry out a sting operation, set a trap. Section of an atlas. Oh, I see Asia. I was trying to think of a what might you call the different sections of an atlas, but this is referring to the name of a particular section for the continent of Asia. Moving backward, retracing one steps doesn't fit. San Blank, Bay Area City. I think I would be able to get this immediately. San Mateo? Uh, retro sounds decent for moving backwards. Retrograde, you're moving backwards in retrograde motion. Spa treatment for short. I'm literally right here. A hem, you could clear your throat dramatically to sig signify that you're there. Full of tension could be taut. Eureka, aha. Uh, let's see. Subatomic particle with no electric charge. A neutron? No. Oh, neutrino. Um, spa treatment. Oh, Manny for manicure. Words said with a gulp. I'm toast. Which, as I, as I said uh, a week or two ago in a solve, I do maintain that this phrase, as specifically constructed, the idea of someone being toast without referencing any other part of the toast-making process was essentially coined by Bill Murray in Ghost, Ghostbusters. Main bug in a bug's life. An ant, I suppose. That sounds, sounds plausible. Meat as a challenge. You could rise to Rises to, sorry, because meets. Rises to the challenge. Concord and Sultana. Those are those are varieties of grapes. Uh, Concord grapes and Sultana grapes. Sultana grapes often associated with uh, sort of being dried like raisins. Moving backward. It is retrograde. Okay. Work on something you'd like. Work on something you'd like. Right, something you like. Ode. 
the official poetic form of the New York Times crossword and ode. If you like something, perhaps you would construct a work dedicated to it in, in, in praise of it, an ode. Menu bar option in Microsoft Excel is probably tools looks plausible to me. I mean, there could be tools for, you know, operating the, uh, working with the spreadsheet, modifying the spreadsheet seems likely. Dieted maybe eight less. Um, dojo offerings could be, oh, sorry, this is a theme clue. Okay, right. And this is, these are not three letters long, unlike the, all of the examples I've seen so far have been three letters long, but not this one. So dojo offerings, I'm not sure. Mellow, concerned with roots. Here's a dash, the other one. Essay assignment could be, you could give someone a topic on which to write an essay. And joint ventures, question mark. So maybe something about a joint uh, in the sense of a cigarette. Um, uh, pot something. Joint ventures. Pot farms. A venture maybe in this case, in case meaning a sort of entrepreneurial venture, a business. That could, that could be it. Let's see. Complete collection. I'm not sure if this is, I'm not sure this is correct, but it's, it seems plausible anyway. Complete collection. I don't know. The F is not very encouraging, is it? Tend to the sauce, say. You could stir the sauce. Why, you little stinking. Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, this farms I'm still not certain about. Number of legs on <laughs> un escorpion. Um, I don't feel as though farms is correct. I think there are eight legs on a scorpion, right? Because they're arachnids. So Ocho. Comedian Margaret. Margaret Cho is a famous comedian. Earthy color could be um, ochre. Is that how you spell it in the in US English or is it all is it always like this? This looks more correct to me, but it might be this way in Sorry, it might be this way. Let's hmm. let's see. A kid is a sucker for it. One way to take some courses. I don't know. I can't tell. Maybe I'll just delete them for now. Uh, joint ventures are probably still ends in an S. I don't know. Why am I not seeing this? Sorry about that. What about this? Oh, yeah, that's an earthy color. Okay, let's keep looking around. Gathering of experts. A panel, maybe? A panel of experts? A kid is a sucker for it. Is, is there any way this is a kid referring to a baby goat? Just trying to think what could be misdirection. One way to take some courses as a, I don't know, oops. One who calls Homer Simpson neighborino, that must be Ned Flanders. 50-50 propositions are something. Advil alternative, so this is a, what, a painkiller, I suppose? So a leave maybe is another branded painkiller. Uh, West Point student could be a cadet, that's a military academy. A kid is a sucker for it. Oh, pacifier. Right. Okay. So it, it, it was using kid meaning a human child, but the pun here was, um, I guess it's, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's a sucker of a pacifier. In other words, a thing that children suck on to keep them kind of, I don't know, quiet and occupied and pacified, I suppose, literally. Um, but the four is just being slightly abused for the purpose of the pun. Okay, but I guess they all they are also a sucker for it in the idiomatic sense that they they uh, like it. One way to take some courses. What is this? Do I have something wrong up here? Maybe this just looks odd. Not sure. Let's see if I can justify these across the cross answers. Fifty fifty propositions are oh even odds. There we go. Go for it. Let's. Uh, Chutzpah. If you have chutzpah, you have nerve. There we go. Let it go for it. Let it rip, maybe? 
Time magazine once named him Actor of the Century. Um, this is probably incredibly obvious. Why can't I see it? Gaelic tongue. Maybe even odds is wrong. Maybe that's the problem. Because I want Gaelic tongue to be Eris. 50-50 proposition. It probably ends with an S. One in a black suit. Blank Vibration, Bob Marley album. Is it Rasta something? I'm actually not sure, to be honest with you, unfortunately. Crested bird. Crested blank, a bird, a tit, maybe? Crested tit? E oh, even bets. Yeah, there we go. Time magazine... feels that this should be this should be right so obvious to me a famous actor who would have been called actor of the century in brando marlon brando ah i i even in my mind was thinking maybe it was the godfather but i just could not i could not get that oh part of epa what is going on here what's hanging Environmental Protection Agency. What What is going on? And there's going to be another one here, presumably. Yes, there is. Okay. Really feel silly for not being able to spot what's going on at the theme. Blank mission. Our mission? Uh, that seems vague. Pelican Pal of Nemo and Finding Nemo. Oof, I don't know. I mean, I did see that film when it came out, but I do absolutely do not remember the name of the pelican, that's for sure. Or even that there was a pelican. It might come packaged with a flavor packet. Uh, ramen? Ramen noodles? That, yeah, that's normal. Oh, on a mission. That sounds more specific than our mission, sorry. Uh, Texter's qualifier could be, you could qualify something by saying, well, it's just in my opinion. IMO. World of Warcraft creatures, probably orcs. Um common enough fantasy creature. Part of STEM abbreviation, science, technology, uh, engineering, and math. So science is what we're, is what we're after here. Brief moment could be a sec, a second. And this is sort of punning on the fact that a second is a brief moment, but also it's a word for a moment in brief. So I, I think this is just a slight little tip of the hat to that pun. Activity behind police tape, for short. Crime scene investigation, CSI. Uh, cores. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. One in a black suit. I'm still not sure about this one. Blank program. College offering. People who see things as they are. Realists. Yeah. Uh, director Lee Ong Lee is a film director. Group that might organize a walkathon. You can imagine lots of groups might do such a thing. Hmm. I'm not sure how to how to determine what it's looking for. Unpopular bill. A tax maybe is a bill you could get that would be unpopular. I'm not sure. That doesn't seem. Well, I mean, it seems possible, but I'm not certain about it. Everything is peachy. A okay. That means more peachy rather than everything is peachy. What was this one? Why you little stinking something off? No. One way to take some courses a, a la carte. Ah, right. Okay. So you could you could order some courses at a restaurant a la carte rather than as part of a set menu. There we go. Oh, so this is son of a. This is just sort of a. You could imagine a person shaking their fist. Ah, son of a. Why you little stinking? And that son of a leaves off the kind of remainder of the oath at, in the same way that the clue just trails off here. So it's, it's, it's well clued in that regard. Joint ventures are oh, pot shops, maybe. Right. Okay. So you could maybe open a, uh, an establishment in Colorado or one of the states in the U.S. in which marijuana has been legalized. So complete collection set. Piece of furniture with parts that fold down as depicted seven times. Oh, right. Okay, here's our revealer. Piece of furniture with parts that fold down as depicted seven times in this puzzle. It's a table. Right, okay. So it sort of does look like... It. 
this is kind of it's the image I sort of have in mind. Oh, is it? Oh, it's alliteration. Uh, I'm so annoyed with myself that I didn't see this. I'm very sorry. I bet I bet quite a few of you did. So the feature of Peter Pan and Black Beauty, each of these titles is alliterative. They start with the same sound. And so we uh, have spelled out alliteration. And so what's hanging are these bits that, that fall down. I don't know what the answer to the re revealer is yet, because as soon as I read it, I wanted to come back up here and, and pay better attention. So what about this one? Person on the high seas. And fun function of, oh, I don't even really think I read this. Function of one end of a, of a pencil. An eraser? No. Erasing? This doesn't look like anything useful. Uh, well, I don't know. Um, anyway, we'll come back to it. Musician with a Nobel Prize in Literature. Oh, um, Bob Dylan. Sort of <laughs> was very grumpily, I guess, sort of basically accepted a Nobel Prize. He seemed to, he seemed to be completely uninterested. Uh, that guy who still spills beer all over you, maybe. A lout? Partner of willing. Willing and able, people say. Sun for a sunflower is a need, I suppose. Here we have award bestowed by King Charles in brief would be an OBE. That's the order of the British Empire. Or uh, I guess this, this would be an officer of the British Empire in OBE. And then there are other, other grades of it. Um, commander and so on. Mockery could be ridicule. Stung is uh, something. And they're not vets yet. GIs, maybe. You're, you're in the military, but you're, you're still in the military, so you're not a veteran. Uh, held up high. Adored? Adulated? Neither of those fits. One is too short, one too long. Stung. Smart. That's stung. That's smarted, you could say. Oh, admired is held up high. There we go. Follower of Christ. Could be I-A-N for Christian. So a follower meaning, and there's a question mark here indicating the pun, a follower meaning letters that literally follow the word Christ. I know, although this doesn't look right, does it? Word tallest flying bird now. Maybe, maybe that's wrong. Uh, Christine? This looks like crane, maybe? Is that true? I have no idea. I don't think a crane would be the tallest. No, maybe it would be tallest because most flying birds don't stand tall. They're sort of long rather than tall. Maybe it is a crane. Christina, there we go. That could be at the name, the given name. Certain endurance athletes are something errs. Oh, no, 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 no. Iron men, people who participate in the Iron Man competition. And then this is part of EPA, so it's Environmental Protection Agency. There we go. Okay, appropriate answer for this place in the grid. East. The eastern uh, bit of the grid. And in fact, it looks like it's maybe even... Uh, yeah, it's even centered. Um, sort of north-south. It's centered between the northern and southern kind of poles of the grid in the same way that maybe the eastern point on a compass might be. So it's it's exactly appropriately placed. Very good. Very good clue. Okay. What do we have? Significant feature of a May-December romance. I think that's a way to describe an age gap in a relationship. And then master keys, question mark, a grand piano. So master, I suppose, in the sense of being a large, impressive instrument. And distinctively stylish, not sure, capital in the Caribbean. Oh, I'm not sure offhand. I wish I could just get that immediately. Awe-inspiring. Could be something maybe cute or ador adorable. That looks like that would fit. So obviously this is playing on the phrase awe-inspiring, meaning, meaning extraordinary and of, of massive scale. But instead we're referring to something that might inspire you to say, ah, how adorable. Slabs for making pizza or bread. And then here we have Capital in the Caribbean. Um, slabs for making pizza or bread. I don't know. Poem about country living. An idyll? An idyll? Um, part of the same root, at least I assume, as idyllic. Uh, and then, so here's our, here's certainly not the official poetic form of the New York Times crossword, and yet 
fair enough as an answer still. Microscopic part, microscope part, part could be a lens. You could have a lens in a microscope, or you, in fact, would certainly have one. Distinctively stylish is, I don't know, American dad error. This is presumably a US television network. Um, CBS, I suppose. I was trying to think, well, oh, no, 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 it could be NBC as well, I guess. Oh, I don't know then. Uh, I'm not sure. Stadium cheer could be Ole. Oh, this is part of our theme. Goes around, gyrates, doesn't fit. Probably ends with an S. Ain't gonna happen, nope. Distinctively stylish, I'm still not seeing that. Goes around. I don't see what this is. Sorry. Goes around. Trying to think of something with rotation, but maybe that's not what we're looking for. Slabs for making pizza. Oh, baking something. Baking something. Baking stones? Oh, Kingston. Kingston, of course, Kingston. Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I should have been able to think of that, but anyway, I didn't uh, until, until now. Uh, distinctively stylish. Sassy? Is that how you describe someone who's stylish? This, oh, this looks like bypasses. It does look like sassy. Here we have American, oh, it isn't one of the ones I was thinking, TBS, okay, fair enough. I didn't know that, but there we go. Uh, that's another US, that's a, I think a US cable network actually. Distinctively stylish, is, I guess it is sassy, it's sassy, that's so interesting, okay. <clears throat> and then goes around as bypasses. You Right, I see, you go around something, you bypass it. All right, blank tie, pad tie, dish probably. Rare bears are, I don't know. Pays to play, antes into a, a gambling match. National flower of Mexico, the Dahlia. Romance author Huang, not sure, sorry. Ultimate degree, the nth degree maybe. You refer to something in that way to mean you know a lot. She released 30 in 21. I think Adele is the one who has those sort of age named albums. Part of the UK abbrevi uh, abbreviation, so England is one of the um, four constituent nations of the United Kingdom, along with uh, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Rare bears are pandas, and then, uh, okay, Anna Huang, there we go, fair enough. Don't think that name rings a bell to me. Chances chances are, you could say, and to function at one end of, oh, it is erasing. Why did I think that wasn't the answer? That's strange. I'm. I, I think I remember even typing it in. Why did I not think it was correct? Anyway, the person on the high seas is the, oh, it's the opera singer. I, it's because I thought this didn't look like anything, but of course it does. Opera singer, there we go. Person on, on the high seas. So you'd be singing a high C note, an opera singer would. There we go, very good. Here we have, oh, chances are we did see that. Is there anything else we did not see through the crosses? I don't think so. No. All right. Good. We can move on. Turns, in a sense. R rots? Food turns? It goes bad, maybe? Dojo off. Oh, right. Okay. So here's here's up this. Something lessons. We have uh, karate lessons. There we go. That's what it is. Karate lessons of the dojo offerings. And we're spelling it here through our little hanging table ends. Even one. If you have even one of something, you have any. In other words, if you have not even one, you have not any. Uh, Mustafa Blank Ataturk, founding father of Turkey. Well, Ataturk, certainly I would know. Do I know his middle name? Kamal? Mustafa Kamal Ataturk. I mean, that sounds that sounds sort of reasonable and, and vaguely familiar. Let's try it. Camera type for short. Yeah, SLR, single, single lens reflex camera. Mellow is tone, to, to, oh, mellow, mellow out, tone down. You could tell somebody. This looks like etymological. Con yes, it is. Concerned with roots. So concerned with linguistic roots, etymological, the etymology, the sort of history of the creation of a particular word or words in general. Options metaphorically. Doors. Which door will you open? You could say metaphorically. Everything is peachy. Oh, it is A-OK. -okay. Oh, that's funny. 
I would have thought A-OK meant the peachy bit, not so much the everything is peachy, but I suppose that's fine. Because someone said, how are things going? You could say everything is peachy, or you could just say A-OK, and that, that does fit. So I'll, I'll take it. President between Tyler and Taylor must be Polk. There we go. I don't know if I would have remembered that without the, the, the uh, crosses. Probably not. Group that might organize a walkathon. Oh, a, the PTA maybe? The Parent Teacher Association? I don't really know why they in particular would organize a walkathon, but I believe that they might. Unpopular bill to, oh, a right, $2 bill. There is, in fact, a $2 bill in the United States. I remember um, my grandmother used to send them. And uh, they are mint. They are still minted, but they're just not very commonly used. I don't really understand the situation with the two dollar bill. I don't know what. Uh, yeah, I don't know what, 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 why, why exactly they sort of continue to be minted but are not used almost at all. Who said I know nothing except the fact of my ignorance? Socrates. That sounds like something a philosopher would would say. Swan Lake heroin is Odette. There we go, the heron of the opera, Swan Lake. Um, or at least, I guess, I don't know, I guess probably not just the opera, but that's how I know it mainly. Piece of furniture with parts that fold down. Oh, right, here we go. Piece of furniture with parts that fold down. Drop down table. Uh, yeah, so I mean, that was, that was certainly the image in my mind when I was looking at those. And then bounds. Um, leaps or bounds could also be border, borders. Uh, maybe down is, maybe... I don't know. Word with bird or retirement? Early bird. Okay, it isn't dropped. It is not dropped on table. So uh, early bird or early retirement. Place to give someone a ring could be an altar maybe in a, in a wedding. Oh, drop leaf table. Yes, those are leaves called leaves of the table that drop down. So is it drop leaf table? I hope that's actually the answer this time. Bounds could be the limit. The, what, are, what is the limit? What are the bounds? It's kind of the same thing, but these, this looks a little odd. It is not correct. Star Wars droid and familiarly could be R2 for R2-D2. I was wondering if, because obviously bounds, you want this to be a plural as well, but it did occur to me that you could say, I think there probably is a way to say bounds and limit singular and have it in a particular context and have it mean the same thing, but I think that's probably too narrow to be a useful crossword clue. In that way. Uh, wine from the Rhone Valley. A Tyrol, maybe? I don't know if that's right. Ooh, bounds. I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. It'll be a Syrah, won't it? Uh, you can tell I don't know anything about wine. Um, bounds. Oh, it is leaps. Okay. Yeah, leaps, leaps and bounds. Nursery purchase. Uh, a plant. You could buy a plant from a uh, from a nursery. Obviously, there are different uses of the word nursery. And in this case, we're referring to somewhere you'd buy plants. Big apple could be Fiona? Why? Oh, Fiona Apple, the musician, of course. <laughs> yeah, big, big in the sense of being a popular, popular musician. There we go. Okay, you might lose a loose one, a loose tooth. Uh, one of many residents of San Francisco's Pier 39, this is indeed something I remember from my many years in San Francisco, is uh, the sea lions at Pier 39. Okay. Uh, oh, Rasta Man Vibration. I was wondering if that's what it was going to be uh, as the, as the uh, Marley album. And then one in a black suit. Oh, a spade. A black, one of the black suits of a suit of, deco, of a deck of cards. Nebraska Senator Fisher certainly looks like Deb, doesn't it? Uh, blank program college offering a meal program. You could be on a, maybe a meal plan. Uh, in, a, in a university cafeteria. Parenting author Ida or meditation author Lawrence, who I don't think either of those is familiar to me. Michigan's Blank Royale National Park. I don't think I know that one either. Uh, light bulb in comics, you could have an idea. One eye in a winking emoticon would be a dot, I suppose, in the um, the kind of winky emoticon that's an, a... Um, a semicolon followed by a close parenthesis would be one of the dots would be one of the eyes would be a dot. Lasagna cheese ricotta often used in lasagna. Orange. Oh, here, right. Here's one of these orange colored fruit pa uh, pastry. Uh, I am not good at these, am I? Apricot tort. 
think that works. And then something that turns on a turntable, a platter, is simply rotated on a turntable. Uh, bedridden, say you could be ill, and then 100% would be all. Uh, one named vocalist with the hits Foolish and Happy. Not sure. Relative of a bookcase? I don't know about that either. Nine digits on an I-9. I don't remember what an I-9 is, but it does look like it's the name of a tax form to me. So probably your social security number, which is a, a U.S. particular um, unique identifying number, would have to be put on it. Sailor songs, uh, sea shanties. So can we write? Can we write that in? And then let's see if it fits the one hundred and twenty-one across clue. Ashanti, that looks right. One name vocalist with the hits "Foolish and Happy." Ashanti. Okay, I don't know the vocalist, um, but but I, I'm I'm very confident this is correct. So good. I'm glad I was able to solve it the other way. Uh, parenting author Ida or meditation author Lawrence. Um, Lehan, Leshen, Levin. I don't. I just don't know this, these people. I'm sorry. Christmas displays are uh, something scenes. Manger scenes. You could have a um, nativity scene, a manger scene, a crash. All right. Government employer of cryptologists. The NSA, the National Security Agency. I would imagine employs plenty of cryptologists. And then Nigel must have been the Pelican Pal of Nemo. Uh, cores are essences, the core of an idea, the essence of it. Uh, one more than by would be try, so three rather than the prefix for two. Hitch on Twitch, say. I'll Twitch the streaming uh, video website, so there could be lag on Twitch. And then Michigan's Isle Royale, maybe? I don't know. Doesn't. LaShawn, L-E-S-H-A-N. I mean, that is certainly a name I've seen. I, I just don't understand, recognize these particular authors, unfortunately. So relative of a bookcase, étagère. I mean, that looks French. What is that? That must be right. No, it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. I put in the wrong letter. <laughs> oh, it's still not right, though. I have something else wrong. Oh, no. I'm sure this is the correct spelling of this. But I have something else wrong. Oh, that's so frustrating. All right. Once again this week, I mean, this is what, the second or third time this week I'm going to have to do this? I'm going to have to run through the puzzle and figure out what I got wrong. I won't make you sit through. Okay, I found it. Um, I don't know what I was doing here. It's not a ricotta tort. It's a ricotta tart, which uh, would have been obvious because I should have observed that lasagna cheese is ricotta, not ricotto. And in fact, I even said ricotta, uh, and then I overwrote it as I was putting in this other clue. So let's see this other answer. There we go. Good. Uh, well, I'm glad that I immediately noticed my misspelling, my likely misspelling of uh, étagère because uh, it would have been annoying to have figured out the ricotta bit and then had still had the puzzle not validate. Um, had to go through the whole thing again. I used to do those kind of correction searches in real time, but um, I realize it's probably not very interesting to the viewer. So so now I just edit them out, and especially on a big Sunday grid like this, it's just it takes ages. Needle in a haystack kind of thing. Oh, and look at this. We've got our little table illustrated in the grid, I think, right? Maybe this, I think here in this, I didn't observe um, when we started the puzzle that this is not radially symmetric or rotationally symmetric. It is symmetric about a vertical axis. So if you folded the, if you folded the grid along this vertical line, you'd have... Uh, matching dispositions of the black cells. Um, anyway, that was clearly done in this case to enable the construction of this bit of grid art. And uh, here's a panel as well, maybe maybe an intentional reference to the sort of folding panels of the table. Anyway, uh, there we go. A very nice Sunday puzzle. And I wish I would have gotten the theme a bit more quickly, but uh, but what can you do is very clever. So let's look at it quickly. We have, it's, it's impressive to have found all of these examples of words that can precisely fit within the middle of this law of the longer word or phrase so that the symmetrically um, long uh, leaves, I suppose, can, can drop down to the side. It's well done. So anyway, we have literati inside of alliteration. We have Kingston inside of baking stones. We have erasing in, inside of opera singer. That one strikes me as very clever. For some reason, it just, just kind of hits me. 
Uh, what else? Let's see. I guess I can find them with the downs because they're all italicized. We had dojo offerings, right? So we had uh, eight less inside of karate lessons. That was pretty clever too, because it's just so odd. It sounds so odd when you put it together. We have Iron Men inside of, inside of Environmental. And we have Orange Colored Fruit Pastry. Uh, right, oh, right. So we have ricotta inside of apricot tart. And finally, we have, I don't think I missed any. Finally, we have Ashanti inside of Sea Shanties. So there we have it. A very nice, uh, very nice puzzle themed around this what's hanging idea and the drop leaf table. And then here, maybe this is our kind of one of the feet of our of our table, the legs of the table, I should say. So we had our revealer piece of furniture with parts that fold down as depicted seven times in this puzzle. Very clever. I think that that worked very well. I really enjoyed it. And it wasn't too difficult of a Sunday puzzle, I don't think. I think it was reasonably, uh, reasonably approachable. Let me know if you found the same and how you managed with the theme. And that's that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back, of course, tomorrow with the Monday crossword, a much gentler and uh, uh, a pr more approachable, simple puzzle. But it still, we'll have a theme. So join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care.